bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to the top 10 biggest losers of patch 7.19D. Sadly, until patch 7.20, there will be no winners. No winners for Ice Frog. From Ice Frog. So, uh, it's just going to be watching your favourite heroes being destroyed until they can finally be bothered to release the patch. And this rate, probably be Christmas. But, eh, not that I'm bitter. I'm not bitter. You know, it's fine. It's totally fine. So, let's go through. So, in at number 10 is Earthshaker. Earthshaker really had that devastating nerf of base armour being reduced by 1%. As you can probably imagine, as that has zero impact on his game mechanics, it makes him very, very slightly easier to kill. But fundamentally, given how average he is performing in the meta right now, as in the average meta, so that's low and high skill, um, this has had basically no difference, made no difference to him. And that's understandably too. It is a very gentle nerf. In at number 9 is our good friend Ursa. Now I did point out that Fury Swipe's duration being reduced from 20 to 18, 12, 16 and 20 made for a definitely um, slightly not as good laning phase. But actually in the grand scheme of things, the main way that Ursa is probably going to kill you isn't just from a stack or two of Fury Swipes. It's more um, overpowering and hitting you about 4 or 5 times of them in a, in a chain. That's, that's more is how he's going to do it. So while it has definitely brought him down by a minus 0.28%, Ursa is still pretty fundamentally holding just the same as he was before. So, and again, while that is annoying, ultimately, once he gets his level 4, it makes no difference. So it is really, as I said, very much a slap on the wrist. So winner number eight is Grimstroke. Now Grimstroke, for surprisingly, for what I thought was a reasonably notable nerf, actually has shrugged off like Ursa with a minus 0.31% uh, reduction in win rate. Um, really quite nothing. So Inks while movement speed got reduced just to a static 18% instead of scaling up to 30% at max level. And the Phantom Embrace's last duration was actually slightly buffed to just a flat rate of 5, but the Phantom Embrace DPS was rescaled. Um, same at the at the very end, but again in the laying phase, not as good. If you though, if you though, on reflection on that, if you think about kind of what's going on, the ink swell movement bonus doesn't make that much of a difference in the laning phase, and then the phantom embrace DPS uh, rescaling, while it has almost cut in half at level one, as soon as you get to level two, it's almost the same. Level three, it's irrelevant, and level four, it's exactly the same as what it was. So actually, if you reflect on it, it's not that bad at all and with the flat rate of a five phantom latch uh, duration it's just kind of the same because you've got an extra second there doing the extra six bit of dps which again is an overall nerf but really not that bad so um you know uh in the grand scheme of things as it turns out that doesn't actually make that much of a difference um and grimstroke is still pretty overpowered and still kind of broken so don't give up on spamming that hero just yet In at number seven is Zeus. Zeus had, again, a very slight laning phase nerf with the arc lightning, arc lightning mana cost being increased to a flat rate of 80 instead of it scaling up. Again, it's very useful for him for harassment and also securing farm. Um, so in the laning phase, that is notable because he's burning notably more mana. But at the same time, actually, it's only knocked him off just over half a percent down. So Zeus, in the grand scheme of things, still an awesome mid. If you want to play him that way, of course, which, yeah, that's, that's certainly a way you can play him that definitely uh, gives dividends. Um, it still offers a tremendous amount to the team, particularly in the mid game. And of course, tactically remains insane when it comes to deep warding. So uh, Zoo, still a very, very good hero, still boasting a 55% win rate. So don't worry about not playing him. He's awesome. So we're at number six is Undying. This is where the, the, the pain starts to slightly more kick in. So Tombstone hit count was reduced from 4568 to 4567. Doesn't sound that notable, right? But actually in the mid game, when that thing is going to be maxed, that extra hit on the Tombstone makes quite a big difference to those zombies slowing you down and killing you. 
So, um, so you know, and given how powerful Tombstone is as well, this knocked him off by 1%. Now, that doesn't really make that much of a difference to Undying, because Undying is still a 53% win rate. But nonetheless, that definitely did hurt, and that's something you have to take into account with your positioning of where you drop your Tombstone when fights kick off. In at number five is Weaver. Um, so the, the pain begins now, really. Perhaps she's just on a top five, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. So Weaver's Shiku Shikuchi mana cost was increased from 60 to 70, uh, which means he's burning through a lot more mana in the laning phase um, and always. Uh, there's no, there's no, it doesn't scale or whatever. It just is a permanent extra cost, which means he's burning more mana, which means given that that's one of his main escape items, particularly in the laning phase, uh, that makes Weaver pretty good to counter. So um, sadly, has actually dropped over 1%, and average across the meta is actually going to give you a negative win rate now. So um, definitely think twice now about Weaver, even though in the pro scene, they will still continue to totally abuse their hero. So winner number four is Treant Protector. Now, again, sometimes it, it sort of surprises you, the damage. But, I mean, they, they perma-nerfed him. And it doesn't make a difference whether or not you scale up. On average, Leech Seed now, heal reduction, is worse whatever level you are. Whatever level you were before, you're not getting anywhere near as much benefit as you used to. And for a hero like Treant Protector, who that is an awesome sustain, but also brilliant for dealing damage and shutting uh, and allowing you to chase down heroes and kill them, this is actually quite a major nerf. And so it saw Treant Protector drop by over 1.5%. Quite a painful change for the guy, um, and I, you know, it, it's definitely more severe of the nerfs. Um, a lot of them have been sort of more adjusting them in the laning phase, but this is just straight up worse in every way. Number three sees Drow Ranger. Um, again, it's the ultimate marksmanship agility bonus was just flat rate nerfed by five at every level. Um, Given how powerful that ability is and what brilliance work it does for her, for Drow Ranger, this was a very, very notable nerf. Despite the fact that knocking it down by five agility points doesn't seem, as a percentage anyway, that's notable. But it was. Uh, and so nearly a 2% drop in win rate is now Drow, Drow Ranger's um, cross to bear, as it were. This is also very significant because actually she is teetering on the edge of not being, on average, meta viable. Um, still slightly positive, but nowhere near as good. Again, in the pro scene, though, I'm not sure how much that will take her off the boil. It could be enough, though. It is uh, painful. Now, there's only one hero that got worse nerfed than this, um, but number two sees Terrorblade just completely be kicked in in literally every single way. So Conjure Image mana cost was increased. Reflection Slow was reduced. Sunder mana cost was increased from 0 at level uh, 18 to 50, which is very, very painful. And level 15 talent was also reduced. So on the whole, literally almost every single ability and <laughs> talent tree was nerfed. And in really, really messed up ways. Now, don't get me wrong, Terror Blade in the meta was faring very, very well at about 55% win rate. And in the pro scene, he, he ended games. He won games. You know, there was definitely no way he was going to get away with how much he was, he was being abused by pro players. And so we see this. This definitely takes him off the boil in a big way because it saw him drop just under 2%. 1.99% uh, in terms of the win rate reduction. So, you know, a, a, a definite stab in the heart pain for people to, you know, um, uh, experience, particularly if you're a Terror Blade spammer. But of course, compared to number one, this is, well, a drop in the bucket. So we're at number one, and you probably all saw this coming because he's literally in every single game. Ricky. And I know a lot of people are like, just buy wards, buy detection. That that was not flying against Ricky. Just just wasn't working. So you gotta remind that he had a win rate of 59%. Average that was average across the meta. So in lower skill, he was, you know, 
basically nearly 60% win rate. Not to mention he was seen as viable in higher skill brackets as well. So he was just being abused. He was stomping pubs. And, you know, people were being laughed at for not buying detection. But fundamentally, he was actually pretty overpowered. So what did they do? They ruined everything. Smoke screen slow was rescaled. The screen mischamp was rescaled. Tricks of the trade AOE was reduced permanently. Tricks of the trade's um, duration was rescaled and reduced permanently. And even the talent trees, level 20 and 25, were both just nerfed. No alternative buffs. And when I say nerfed, we're talking about the blink strike range and also the tricks of the trade AOE. So really, really strong, hardcore beat this guy down and he's dropped by, you know, over three and a half percent. So really, really savage nerf. And again, well played by Ice Frog to totally take that guy down. Now, don't get me wrong, still very meta viable, still probably got one of the best win rates in the game. You can still definitely get away with running him. But let me put it this way, if the Ricky abuse doesn't stop, he will be punished in, in theory, the next patch will be 7.20. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is, I am Good Boy, and this is the top 10 biggest losers of this patch. Anyway, please give the video a like, subscribe, and share, and click subscribe for more great videos coming soon. Goodbye.